If you've ever come across a billy goat before, you would know they absolutely stink, and Percy is no different. Percy's a three-year-old pygmy billy goat here to breed Myra and Phoebe, and he absolutely stinks, and that's what I want to go over today. I'm on the other side of the field to him, and I can still smell him. Like, he smells bad. So why do billy goats actually smell? Now, there's two reasons for that. First off, they've got scent glands behind their horns, which obviously puts off a smell, and they rub on fence posts and literally anything they can rub their heads on, but they also like to wee on themselves. So what they'll do is they'll wheel over their face, their beards, their legs, their chest, and the girls absolutely love this smell, but to us, it just, it reeks. It's so bad. Now, Percy does smell bad, but he's not as bad as I was making out because the wind is blowing across that way to that side of the field, but when you really get up close to him, he does smell bad. Like, it's unpleasant. <laughs> but for some reason, the girls love it, so he's obviously doing something right. So this is Maya here, one of my girls that he's breeding with, hopefully, at the moment, and today, especially, he has not left her alone. Being in the wind behind him is probably the worst thing you can do because he smells really bad. It's just blowing this way. It's, oh, it's so grim. One thing that actually smells worse than Percy himself is their shed. Like, it is horrible. He sleeps in here every night with the girls and, oh, it, it's grim. You, like, step inside here and regret doing it. It's, like, that bad. I, he must wee on this or rub his head on everything because you just don't want to be in here. You don't want to be in here if you can help it. So now I have an idea of how bad Percy smells and billy goats as a whole, you may be wondering if Henry and Oscar, my two weather goats, also smell because they're also boys. Weather goats do smell, but luckily they don't smell as bad as billies. Let me explain. As a whole, goats are pretty good at being clean and not really smelling too bad. They only really smell of what their shed smells like. So for me, I keep their sheds nice and clean with fresh straw, so they smell of fresh straw pretty much. Um, but if you let your sheds get dirtier, they smell of like a dirty shed and it's a bit grim. Now, I'm not expecting the girls to be very clean because they're sharing a shed with Percy and he reeks, the whole shed just reeks. But um, hopefully once he's gone and they move out of there back in here with Henry and Oscar, they'll start to smell a bit nicer again. They're not smelling too bad now, but uh, I'm sure shortly they'll start smelling goat wee, which is just really unpleasant. Now I've had Percy for a few days now and his smell is definitely getting worse, but I think today's the worst he's smelt, mainly because of his business with Maya, which is shown in the last video if you want to see that. But as a whole, apart from the smell, sometimes billy goats can be a bit grumpy, but I'm very lucky with Percy, he's very calm and obviously quite relaxed. But apart from that, I'm really enjoying the experience of actually keeping a billy goat because he does look especially cool. I will be keeping Percy for about six more weeks just to give him plenty of time to breathe the girls, but until then, I've still got to put up with his smell, but I think it's a small price to pay because he's doing quite an important job for me for the breeding the girls, but also he's just, he's also actually very lovely as well and I really enjoy keeping him. Hello Maya, Maya move. There he is, there's Percy. His horns though, I love his horns because they're just so like huge and his face is fluffy and he's got so much hair. I don't think he's been being, being weighing on himself too much just because his beard's actually quite clean but he definitely does have that smell. There certainly is some sort of rivalry between Percy and Oscar. They're always staring at each other through the fence and just not very happy that, <laughs> that one another's there. But as a whole, he's doing well. The goats, the boys haven't really done anything to get in here or be painful to him. The field is still quite muddy, especially around by the gates, sadly. Percy, oh, he's funny. He does this thing with his lips. Percy, look at me. There we go. With his lips, like he just sticks his lips up and he does that whenever he like, he was, oh, I don't know what he does, but he was like drinking Phoebe's wee the other day, like as it was coming out, I was like, he's grim. Billy goats are disgusting. Now, I don't know if I've said this or not yet, but any kids we do get, I will be keeping all the girls. Hopefully we get some, that's kind of the most important thing for me. And then any boys probably will get castrated and then sold as pets, unless we get like one that just looks so insane. Like if we get one male from Phoebe, for example, and it's super spotty and super cool, I will be keeping that one, but I don't want to keep Weathers if I can help it, basically. I want to keep it to girls now and keep growing the herd that way, rather than keeping Weathers and just having like half my herd be Weathers, because they can be a bit painful. I love Henry and Oscar, but they are a bit painful. The important things to take away from this video is billy goats, I think, are really cool, but they do smell really bad because they wheel on themselves and they have the, the scent glands as well behind their horns. But as a whole, they're not too bad. It's just like the smell and sometimes they can get a bit grumpy. But I think for me, I'm very lucky with Percy that he is just so, so calm and relaxed. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video about the goat smell and how Percy's doing with the girls and the boys as well. It's all coming together finally. I know this is, I've said this before, but it's like my winter project with Percy and breeding the goats and then making sure they're okay with the new field as well and it's going well as a whole so I'm very excited about that. So if you want to see how it goes going forward with the girls and their kids and how it goes with Percy if he gets any more grumpy or smelly do subscribe and that'd be greatly appreciated. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.